Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Wanted to share with you some great news of a nonprofit that is investing $25 million into a project for veterans. So super excited about sharing this with you. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. it helps to push this word out to all of those that need it. If you're not a member, consider joining. It does help the channel out immensely. Thank you to all you members, and it helps me to find you guys faster in the comments. Moving on here. Uh, the headline is Atlanta faith-based group selects Chattanooga for $25 million campus for homeless veterans. This just came out yesterday um, or the day before. I don't know. It came out, let's see, October 10th. So came out October 10th and I uh, wanted to share with you. So Chattanooga has been awarded a major grant to build a multi-behavioral behavioral community to address needs for veterans experiencing homelessness. Mayor Tim Kelly said the major investment will contribute significantly to supporting a vulnerable population of our community, veterans experiencing homelessness. Frontline Response International, a faith-based nonprofit organization based in Atlanta, will support or supply $12.5 million over three years to build a freedom homestead in Chattanooga, a 90 to 100 acre campus for veterans experiencing homelessness. Frontline Response chose Chattanooga over Atlanta, Houston, and Sacramento due to the city's favorable economic factors, proximity to its headquarters, and level of support given by or given to the organization by the veterans in the community along with the city of Chattanooga and Hamilton County. The announcement was made at the 20th anniversary celebration of the nonprofit which raised $3.1 million last Thursday evening in Atlanta. For more than a year, we have been having conversations and exploring options to best meet the needs of veterans experiencing homelessness across our area. And Frontline Response is going to help us do just that, said Mayor Kelly. Frontline strategic strength is their expertise in being a service gap provider. And their decision to choose Chattanooga for their first Freedom Homestead is a perfect fit for us interesting they're first so we could be looking at a national i mean they mentioned sacramento they mentioned mentioned houston so you're covering uh from the left to the right uh, uh the entire u.s so uh we could potentially see uh, multiple of these um campuses so moving on their presence will be a powerful complement to the successful strategies we've implemented and an important force multiplier as we look to build upon the progress we're making toward addressing homelessness in Chattanooga and Hamilton County. The Freedom Homestead community will provide housing uh, consisting of about 100, 245 square foot homes, which will include living spaces with fully functioning kitchens, a sink, stove, refrigerator, uh, storage, a bathroom with a full-size shower and toilet. A full-size toilet is always good to go. All right, I added that part. Floor-to-ceiling windows and natural light and mechanical systems for HVAC, water power, and waste. Homes will be homes will also be ADA compliant. The campus will also feature a chapel, hiking opportunities, a gym, recreation area, workforce training facilities, a veterans care clinic, a veteran transition care home, and housing for survivors of trafficking. We are thrilled that Chattanooga will be the home for a national pilot project to serve the needs of veterans experiencing homelessness. Uh, said Jeff Shaw, a national expansion officer of, uh, for Frontline. Chattanooga has been engaged and welcoming to us uh, over the last year, and we are looking forward to a partnership that will lead to an independent and sustainable future for those who served our country. There's a significant amount of work ahead, and we're looking forward to the opportunity in Chattanooga. Frontline Response International received $12,500,000 of initial financial uh, commitment from Heart of Lion Foundation and will work in conjunction with the Veterans Empowerment Organization, the Chattanooga Area Veterans Council, Warrior Set Free, and other partners who are stepping up to assist those who have been on the front line for our country. Now, 
that the project has been awarded, site selection, planning, and construction will follow over the next three years. Frontline Response was founded in 2003 and has assisted over 1,700 victims of uh, victims out of sex trafficking through outreach, rescue, emergency housing, and serving uh, <coughs> and serving on the Georgia statewide human trafficking hotline. Frontline's anti-trafficking work uh, is done through the department known as Out of the Darkness. Frontline serves on the Georgia Coalition to Combat Human Trafficking, the statewide Georgia Human Trafficking Task Force, and is a member of the Atlanta Airports Regions, not my, not in my country, or county, not in my county, I guess. Not in my county. Anti-human trafficking, it makes more sense country, but whatever, there's, it's, there's no R. So, not in my county. Anti-human trafficking collaborative, uh, working with the city of Atlanta, Fulton, and Clayton County Sheriff's Offices, GBI, Homeland Security, and other law enforcement agencies. Frontline also provides training to law enforcement, fire departments, emergency room judges, and other civic leaders. The organization has helped lead anti-trafficking efforts around large events, including the Super Bowl in numerous cities. In addition to anti-sex trafficking, Frontline has a strategic focus on homelessness, outreach, and youth uh, prevention programming. In 2022 alone, the organization rescued over 382 individuals from sex trafficking and homelessness, exceeding uh, 3,200 since 2011. Uh, in 2020, seems like they are involved. Um, so that's great. In 2023, Frontline launched the Freedom Regiment uh, Movement, or <laughs> reimagined, uh, launched the Freedom Reimagined reimagined movement designed to provide strategic outposts in communities across the country to provide life-saving rescues or resources man all right there are currently eight communities uh, either providing services or in the process of assessment by organization to determine strategic growth frontline response holds a platinum level ranking from GuideStar, the world's largest source of information on nonprofit organizations, and has 18,000 square foot facility located uh, in Georgia. So, whew, that concludes that big long article. So, we are seeing the first stage of a potential of a national rollout of these campuses for homeless veterans. Uh, this first one is going up in Chattanooga and should be seeing residents in about three years. So it's a three year long project. They are on the search for, uh, uh, you know, site and all that good stuff. The one thing that I would say is that if you live in the Chattanooga area, um, be involved. Uh, start uh, doing a little research and see uh, when the meetings are happening and so forth and, and get engaged. Uh, all right. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.